ShireSociety.com. So I have a question for you. Why should people be forced to pay for your schools? What can I say? If it's interesting, film it. Although, that's not interesting. That's Karen Burkish, I think I got her name right. She's the business uh, chief for the school district. There's a very good question. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, how many closed meetings do you guys have per year, exactly? Matt, do you have a sense of how many secret or closed board meetings the, the school district has per year? She's a, one of the Board of Education members. They actually call it a Board of School Committee here in Manchester. Question for you, Mr. Stewart, right? Is it true that Mr. Ryan asked you guys to approve his curriculum? before he finished it, before you could read it. Superintendent, we'll see if I get a chance to do him the fairness of ambush interviewing him. Last time I did, actually, he was fairly open and gregarious, but uh, sometimes getting this impression around here that a memo has gone out to seal the lips. Can you stop? I'm grouping. He's got a question for you. How many closed meetings do you guys have per year on average? There's some that go into non-public because of personal reasons, but I, Any sense? I, I would be a guess on that one. Do you feel, are you comfortable that all of them comply with the law on closed meetings? Yes. I think they do. All right, thanks. Mr. Stewart, is it true that um, Mr. Ryan asked the uh, school board to approve his curriculum without having them be able to read it first? Ms. Berkish, what's the difference between the money that you manage and tax, uh, well, uh, Mr. Beaudry, question, have you, have you received any more pressure to not talk about confidential documents, quote unquote? Nobody pressures me. He's okay. a man. Good, good. <laughs> Bob, is it true that uh, Mr. Ryan asked the board to approve his curriculum without letting them read it first? Let me get this right this time. What's the difference between the money you manage and stolen property? <clears throat> and to the empire for which it stands. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, 
and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.